says the Lord God of Israel, let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. Who is this Lord, and why should I obey him? I do not know the Lord, nor will I let Israel go. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just see what the mayor has to say about Oh, sorry. What is it? He's only hauling 20 wheelbarrows an hour. I'm old. 30's the minimum. I can't do 30. I'm 80. 30's the minimum. Oh, you drive 30 at my age, you ungrateful. That's enough. You heard the God. The rule is 30. If you can't do 30, it's up the river. No. Please. Take him away. No. Now see here, Unicron. We mean business. If you don't let your slaves go, there will be dire consequences. But foolish tricks. Besides, watch this. Fire! That was unexpected. Think twice before you try to trick me again. I am not trying to trick you. I am warning you. God can perform many miracles. that to me. Now in the Old West, taking a bath was a special occasion. And for the mayor, that occasion came every Saturday morning. But the mayor's bath was about to turn sour. <coughs> uh, along with the rest of his week. Good morning, Mayor. Uh, you two again. Uh, didn't I tell God you... God has sent me to tell you. Let the Israelites go free. If you do not, God will let plagues happen to Egypt. The plagues will bring very bad things. No! Look also at the river flowing past your idols. Because you will not listen, the Lord God of the Hebrews has empowered me to turn the water into blood.
will bathe in the palace this evening. I wouldn't bother, Unicron. Throughout the land, even wells and pools are now blood, and all fish shall die, and all reek of death. <laughs> What will it take? Now, guys. Will the river turn red? And the mayor would listen. Let my people go! Boomer! Hi, ho, sliver! Away! Bye.
it ends and we don't see British Ninja or Time Dagger anywhere. I'm not ready for it to end, man. Ah! Really? Oh, I expected it, but I still don't like these cliffhangers. Well, I look forward to the conclusion. Oh, I so do. I'll be right back. I have not come for trouble. I have heard that your beloved Zantui just gave you a son, born instead of adopted. I came to request you keep an eye on your son tonight. <laughs> 